I am here with Professor Aziz. He is Dean of the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management Program at the University Technology Mara in uh, Malaysia in the city of Shah, Shah Alam. Welcome, Professor. Uh, tell us what is involved with, uh, what do you offer at the Hotel and Tourism Management uh, Program? Okay, actually, we are offering programs uh, beginning at the certificate level, uh, right up to the diploma and the bachelor's degree and the uh, graduate program up to PhD. So we offer program in uh, hospitality management, tourism management, culinary arts, and food service management. So in total, we have about uh, 3,600 students at the moment, and uh, mainly uh, they are in the uh, diploma program. 60% of them are in the diploma program, and the rest 60%? Are, yes, in the diploma program because we are preparing uh, uh, we call graduates who, who will be working at the operational level. And then we also have the about 30% comes from the uh, undergraduate program, that is the Bachelor of Science program, and the rest are in the Master's and the PhD program. So uh, maybe I missed it. The certificate program is the 60%? The certificate program is a very small number. Oh, okay. Yeah, they yeah. even show up in the Richter yeah, scale yeah, was 60% yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. diploma. Di diploma. Yes, diploma program. How, how old is this program? This program, actually, the, the Mara, uh, UC Technology Mara started uh, the hospitality program since 1967. So, practically, we are the pioneer in the uh, hospitality industry. Um, so, that's before Genting started? Yes, much, much before. Because that was in 1967, which is, I think, more than uh, 40 years. Okay? In fact, exactly 40 years as of uh, this year. And we have produced more than 13,000 graduates who are actually, at the moment, working in most of the hotels, travel agents, and even the government uh, agency. Uh, for example, the Director General of Tourism Malaysia is actually a graduate of uh, the faculty. Adnan is a graduate. Oh, uh, okay. the Dr. Mirza. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. so. And uh, so he was the doctor, uh, uh, the PhD program is from? The, the university. Okay, the doctor program is uh, at the university. We have basically about uh, six students are doing the doctor program, mm -hmm. and we have about uh, thirty students are doing the master's program. In the region, in the Southeast Asia region, how many other such programs uh, exist? Okay, in the Southeast Asia uh, region, uh, I think uh, probably in Malaysia alone, we have about uh, three universities offering uh, such a program. And in Singapore, they have uh, one in Singapore, uh, maybe few in Thailand and uh, Philippines, as well as Indonesia. So I would say the number could easily be about more than 20. Well, let's just pick, pick any one of them that you're familiar with. Do they have as many as you do at any one time in the program? You have th over 3,000. Yeah, I, I guess uh, when we talk about 3,000 students, we are talking about various levels. So, uh, but because Malaysia is in need of uh, people who are skilled in the uh, operational side, therefore we have to produce such a number so that uh, we will not be able to just you know, recruit people from other countries. So we want to, if possible, we want to uh, train our own people to work in the industry rather than employing uh, workers from other countries. So right. Well, let's take the Singapore one. Are you familiar how, what the enrollment is in the in the hotel management tourism program? Okay, I'm not so familiar with Singapore, but I know Singapore probably will have about more than a thousand students. Thailand, say. Uh, Thailand probably more, much more, and Indonesia. Indonesia will have much more than us. Mm -hmm. And and uh, because in fact, if you look around, in some of the Malaysian hotels, they do employ workers from Indonesia. Uh, what the problem is uh, why we don't employ uh, workers from Thailand, for example, is because of the English uh, communication skill that they do not have. So it's quite difficult for them to work in the, in, in the tourism industry in Malaysia. Whereas in Indonesia, probably, they have, I would say, based on my experience, there's quite a number of them who are able to speak and communicate in English. So that shouldn't be any problem, especially from Indonesia. But Thailand probably needs a little longer, more, I would say, much more uh, time needed them to be trained or uh, communicate in English before we can employ them. Should have asked earlier, is this a private or public university? It's a public university. 
So it uh, based on my my in, my family's income, I might uh, it might cost me very little to. What, is, it, is it a tiered tuition amount? Uh, basically, it's no no tiered uh, tuition uh, amount. It's basically uh, a standard amount. It's a, it's, it's very cheap. Uh, for example, uh, for any Malaysian, uh, uh, particularly the Bumi Putra, okay, uh, they are paying b between uh, two hundred to four hundred uh, ringgit uh, per semester. To to put things in perspective, uh, of course there is uh, a shortage that is estimated to be 12 million worker shortage in the hotel and restaurant industry mm -hmm. for the next five years. So at the rate of of turning out 3,500 a year, well I don't know, that's the total enrollment. So you probably graduate uh, a quarter of that a year. Uh, the the number of graduates that we uh, produce yearly is about 800 students. Very Eight, small, 800 very students. Small so five years from now, that's that's not going to dent the uh, yeah. 12 million. Um, the what wh what do you see um, is needed uh, in Malaysia and so in Southeast Asia around the world to address this problem, this shortage of uh, of trained uh, or um, educated people in hotel and restaurant industry? So what I see is that. Uh, we need more people to get involved in this hospitality industry because I think the future is actually hospitality industry. Tourism is in the future. Yeah, at the moment, for example, in Malaysia, it's the it's second uh, most important industry uh, after manufacturing. And uh, if you look at the uh, worldwide uh, development in tourism, I think it in, probably it is the number one industry. And there's a lot of opportunity for those people who are really interested because uh, in this particular industry, uh, paper qualification is one thing, but experience is another. So if, you, for example, a student graduated with a diploma, for example, he can actually uh, work in the industry and achieve the highest level a position, for example, general manager of hotel, mm -hmm. uh, even with a diploma. The opportunity, sir. How can we uh, increase the capacity of the training education programs. Here you have a brick and what we call brick and mortar. You can handle 3,500 students. The regional universities, others about the same. How can we, how can we increase double, triple, quadruple that? Without building, I don't know, you know, it's not so simple to build new buildings overnight. Yeah, uh, most probably, I think uh, at the moment, for example, in Malaysia, we have uh, three public universities offering such a program, but we have many private colleges offering such a program. So at any time in Malaysia, for example, uh, we are talking about in the, in the region of uh, 3,000 people leaving the colleges and universities each year. You know? And uh, the government is also trying to, for example, in Malaysia, the government has such program, we call it uh, uh, apprenticeship program, whereby uh, we, we bring in the school leavers, Okay, and provide them with a three-month intensive training. And then, uh, in fact, while they were doing the training, we pro give them allowances, uh, about 400 ringgit a month. And eventually, they will be absorbed into the hotel. And I see that there are some of them, even, for example, from my university, the graduates have already w went out of the country and worked in places like China. Macau. In, uh, <laughs> Macau, Hong Kong, uh, even in, in UK and Europe. So, you know, so basically, uh, the, 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 the job market is actually is wide open. But are you kind of saying you don't, uh, 3,500 graduates in Malaysia from all the travel and tourism schools is sufficient? Well, basically, it's, it's depending on the white level. Okay, but when you talk about top management level, probably uh, the, the management, mid management level, probably is sufficient. But we are lacking at the operational level. That is what we are lacking. That's the reason why you see that most of our hotels are still importing workers from uh, countries like Indonesia. Because they are actually what, talking about the lower level. And what's, what's been done in, to address that? Um, at the moment, uh, we, have, we, 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 we are not able to uh, train as many as, uh, as what we want. So we have, we still need to import some of these workers, uh, but uh, at the at the mid management level, probably uh, is uh, more than enough that we can cater to them. What's uh, new uh, coming up? Okay, uh, for, for the university this coming June, 16 to 18 of uh, 16 to 18 of July, 
we are having a third uh, tourism outlook conference uh, which relates to the uh, heritage and tourism and in conjunction with the global event uh, this is a program where uh, the conference is going to be held between uh, Mara University of Technology and University of Queensland uh, and we'll be calling in uh, we, we, we have invited quite a number of speakers uh, who are expert in the uh, heritage conference, uh, in the heritage, uh, in the architecture, uh, as well as the uh, mice market. So they'll be coming in uh, between 16 to 18 of July. And among the speakers are Professor Joe Goblet, who is very famous and expert in the uh, convention market. And we have a landscape architect from Indonesia, uh, Professor Vijaya, and quite a number of other speakers which we already uh, informed and, and we are inviting them to come. So, and we expect about three to four hundred uh, delegates. So who would you think this is appropriate for people in which region and, and in what, prof uh, what sector of travel and tourism? Okay, basically uh, we, uh, we hope that we can get people who are involved in the heritage development, um, organization, government organization within the Southeast Asian region. So, and also academician at the same time. So I think at the moment we have quite a number of universities within this Asian region and, and this is the best uh, platform for them to come and, and discuss issues pertaining to heritage and, and global. What's the website where they can obtain additional information and register? Okay, at the moment uh, we already have our website uh, at the university www.uitm.edu.my uh, slash uh, fphp. So, so they, will be, they will be able to get more information as well as they can register online if they are interested to attend. Thank you very much.